The stage has been set. The lines have been drawn. And that sadistic structure has been erected as these two companies will now wage war inside of the Elimination Chamber. What? Wait a second! Is that- Yes it is! What? Nathy Night Dog! Our friend! What the heck is this? I, I didn't know he was gonna come here! Why didn't I get the memo? I mean, you just need to look at the community posts. That's where we post all updates uh, regarding GCW. Well, in any case, this is absolute genius. Because this man holds no bias towards either company. As you can see, Will Ospreay is sure is happy to, to see a, a certain stage creator. All that crap he's been talking before. Well, now... It all comes down to this. It all comes down to stage creator's unbiased decision at the end of it all. And when the line is crossed, something's got to give. Indeed, as we see all these competitors waiting for the bell to ring. This is history in the making, people. Yeah, I'm so, so excited to see this going. That ain't the world champ, quote unquote. Say, doesn't your belt look a little familiar? Well, Osprey just fire? never knows when to shut up, does he? And Ricochet trying to help him out there a bit in doing so. Up and over the oh. Oh, the FAW Universal Champion taking it to the GCW World Champion. Yeah, that was nicely done right there. Ricochet does have some history here in GCW as well. He hasn't had a great track record, and Will Ospreay sure as hell knows that. And is looking to remind him every chance he gets in this match. Boy, how in the absolute hell did you manage no, to get Ospreay. over here from Australia no with No stranger to just dissing stage creator. Oh. And I was going to say, the only thing missing here is MDT on the side as well. Yeah, that would be awesome. I would love to see a confrontation between these two. Yeah, exactly. And now Ricochet trying to do his best to keep up with the champ. He's mentioned before that he wants oh. to show Will Ospreay what a real fighting champion is. And I don't know. I, I think that was met with a couple of scoffs and snickers in the backstage. And now Ospreay, I think he's celebrating. Oh, oh my wow. God! What a maneuver there from Ricochet! And now he's looking to follow it up from the top rope! Ricochet gonna take flight with the shooting star presses his oh. No! I thought for sure that was gonna be our first elimination in this chamber match! That was so close. I I definitely was with you there. My god! Like I said before, this is completely history in the making as he backflips off the chest. Oh, Will Ospreay, oh. he innovated that move and he knows damn well how to escape from it with that hook kick. You think, Chuck? Granting him some distance from the FAW Universal Champion as he hits that Mortal Life Suplex, looking to transition into yet another one. Here we go, mate. Oh. Ospreay, that's on his feet. Straight oh. to the Pele. Oh, the the oh, what the shape. fuck can you I mean, he definitely is great. You can just feel the tension between these two. Stage creator and Will Ospreay, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. But, oh, Ospreay misses with the boot in the corner. Now Ricochet looking to take advantage of Ospreay's slip up. What's he thinking here? German suplex from the top? Seth Rollins watching intently, oh. waiting his moment. Waiting for his moment, I should say. I was too distracted by the fact that Will Ospreay just got flattened by that suplex. And now Ricochet looking for that 6.30. Calling for oh. it. Did he hit it? Oh. Nobody home. No water in the lake for that one. Oss Cutter. Is this it for Ricochet? No. What the fuck? What the fuck are you kidding me, bro? Look in your eyes, kids. Look. I know you love crying about that bum knee of yours, but are you sure to tell me that you have a bum fucking hand as well? Oh! Count Buster! My god. Osprey there. But we expect the next entry for GCW 
the assassin that screwed over Bane in his championship match with Will Ospreay on FAW has entered the fray. And Will Ospreay letting Seth Rollins get a taste of, of Ricochet here. Pause. Now just dumping him into the caged wall. Yeah, face first, he went flying. That looked extremely bad for the FAW world champ. Well, Osprey's just taking a breather at this point. He's, you know, some people might just say that he dominated Ricochet throughout that whole sequence, but now it's Seth Rollins' turn to lay down the punishment on oh. the FAW champion. He escaped, and like a one-man army, he's fighting against all the odds. What a counter by Ricochet. Osprey back up. Wait a minute, Ricochet. What's he thinking here? Springboard oh, wait. Oh. Seth Rollins again has Ricochet in his clutches. Oh. Power bomb into the wall of the chamber. Once again, Ricochet has been apprehended. First, it was his face, and then it was his back. I can only imagine what more punishment he could possibly take before finally giving out. And then he landed on the back of his head, coming down as well. No offspring. No doubt looking for that Stormbreaker. He's got Ricochet oh. points. Oh no, Storm Driver, and there's the curb stop combo. Wall card. Showing his disappointment in his own world champion and as he's the first to get eliminated. Some people might have saw this coming, but uh, you know, I'm personally a fan of Ricochet's work in FAW. It might just be an unpopular belief, but I stand by it. But yeah, now we gotta get the next entry into this match because it's just GCW superstars in the ring as of now. Oh, and now the Liberator has entered the war. You know, you would think that Bane is outnumbered here, but I think Will Ospreay and Seth Rollins are the ones who are uh -oh. outgunned. Uh -oh. oh, God, power bomb onto the outside of the ring. Back first onto that structure, super kick to the face. Uh -oh. and he just pops his back with a high knee. Bane looking to let out every ounce of aggression here on Seth Rollins for what he did to him at FAW. Once in a lifetime match that was with, Il with Will Ospreay for the GCW Championship. It was taken away from Bane. Seth Rollins and Bane have a rich history in FAW and it's being uprooted here. Yeah, but Rollins escaping from Bane, he's had enough and I think Bane is just not feeling to climb all the way after Rollins onto the pod. Oh! And oh. Spring from behind! That springboard elbow! And now with that hook kick, he's looking to stagger Bane! Oh, goes for that close line. Wait a minute, Oz Cutter. Bane able to catch up the superior strength has Osprey in his clutches. What's he thinking here? Osprey thought of a poison run of oh, no. Bane just too strong by oh, Osprey on his feet, hidden play. Bane able to dodge. And now he has him in that sleeper. Osprey now, just like in their match. Has Bane where he wants a straightboard oh. drop kick. Or was that a double foot stomp? Either way. Bane might have just met his match there. Yeah, it was a coast-to-coast -coast style drop kick there by Osprey. And you know Seth Rollins has got to be happy to see all of that. Osprey normally hates extreme style matches such as this. But right now, I feel like he's in his element. Yeah, he used the chamber there to his advantage. But now he's thinking Oscutter. Osprey was the one. Oh, oh God! Osprey was one of the few people to ever pin Bane in a one-on-one -on -one match. But right now, I think Bane just proved us all that it was indeed a fluke. Yeah, and look how Osprey's head landed there in the chamber. Oh, God, you can see the chains bouncing upon the impact of Osprey's neck. And we know how bad the neck of Osprey is yeah. after what Brock Lesnar did to it all that time ago. Indeed. The time is not on Seth Rollins' side as it's ticking as Bane is trying to climb up after him and Rollins desperately trying to stop a mud hole into the back of Bane. Oh. Big bottom and he trips him up on top of that pod. And now Rollins is in big, big trouble. And now Bane, no doubt, looking to punish an old friend of his. 
viciously and emphatically bashing his head against the wall of the chamber. And now what the hell is he thinking? From that no. high, he will surely kill the hardcore messiah. Yeah, this definitely would. I don't know if I can watch that. Wait a minute. Oh! The low blow, similar to how he screwed Bane over at FAW. My God! Buster from the top. What a maneuver. And did you see the bounce and velocity in which Bane landed from that attack? Yeah, that blockbuster from the pod. Extremely effective. And now here comes the beast right after the man who pinned him on the G1. And some people may consider that an absolute mauling from Bane. Oh, God. As now Brock is looking to return the favor. Yeah. It's now, oh, yes. I see what Brock is thinking. Yeah, it seems to me that Brock has a new target in mind. And it looks like he cannot wait until that devil himself, Bill Wendis, enters the match. Oh. Here's the diving headbutt, though, showing Brock Lesnar that he does need to set his sights on Bane oh. here with that pump kick to the face of Rollins. Yeah, and he went flying all the way into the chamber. Uh-oh. Indeed, what an incredible match that was, but Bane, look at the hit a repeat with the GTA, but Brock Lesnar countered into the F5 position. Is it going to hit? Oh! Bane like the destroyer on the top of the noggin of the but beast. Look. What a counter. Oh! Three, 450, double knees onto the chest of Bane. Is he eliminated? No, Bane gets the shoulder up. I thought for sure that GCW was going to go 2 it all. Yeah, Osprey, really pushed everything he had into that 450. Knees, elbows into Bane. It was a bit sloppy, but Will Ospreay got every ounce of that attack. No doubt. That was just a three-on-one mugging here. But look at Bane, not backing down at damage. Oh, oh God, uses Rollins as a battering ram for Brock Lister. Osprey able to dodge, looking for that reverse run of Bane. Oh, my, oh God. my God! German suplex, along with an attempted reverse run, but it backfired, no doubt. Yeah, now German suplex by Lester with Bane with the elbow. What a count. Oh, went to that super kick. Oh, he never does that. And for good reason here, too, as Brock now has the Brock lock, the stretch muffler, looking to stretch the tendons of Bane's leg. Look at oh. Bane now! Wait a minute! Oh my god! This is what beat Brock Lesnar at the G1! Is he gonna be able to hit it? Wait, Brock! Oh, just dumps Bane to the outside! Now, last second rescue by Lesnar. No matter what you think of FAW as a company, you cannot lie to yourself and say Bane does not have the heart of an absolute warrior! But now, this ain't a warrior! This is the god of freaking death oh. as it goes oh. Oh my god! He just went right after Brock Lesnar and took him out in three seconds flat! Yeah, that was the quickest attack we've seen from an entry into the chamber here today as the Osprey, oh no. Whoa! Oh my god! I, I still can't believe what I'm just seeing! I don't know why Osprey thought it was a good idea to go charging at Bill Werkes like that! Oh. And here comes Brock! He's back with a broken piece of door! The broken door of the pod! Used as a battery ram onto Mil Huertes! Oh, but Mil! Uh-oh! He has Brock Lesnar in his sights here! And he has the remains of that door as well in his sights! Powerbomb oh. onto the door! Ooh. My God! These two are just monsters! Mil Huertes does not play that shit! As Rollins hits Bane with the forearm, Counter, but Bane catches oh. it! Counter that revolutionary knee. What a Uranagi there by Bane, and now Mil Huertes is into the ring! Bane made it known that Rollins was his to the face! Oh. oh my god! But Mil Huertes doesn't give a damn! Mil Huertes does what he wants! Looking deep into the eyes of Bane, showing him that nobody is the master of death. But Bane is too enthralled in his own vengeance. Consider that payback. But was it to Bane's liking? That's the question here. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about that. These two seem to be... Uh, there oh, might oh, be a bit oh, of tension oh. there. Wait a minute, Osprey with the sky twister from the top of the pond! Both big men are down! And right now, I think it's safe to say we've reached a stalemate in this Elimination Chamber match! Oh, what a kick to the top of the head of Mil Muertes! He's not usually stunned, but right now, it's oh. all talking. Oh my god, double foot stop to the throat of Mil Muertes! Yeah. And here comes Brock, right after Bane! German suplex right to the neck! Oh god, and he took his head off the boot! He shouldn't have come right back up. Now, uh, there is no way, there is no way Osprey will be able to lift Mil Muertes up for the Stormbreaker! Uh -oh. But Brock Lesnar has no problem lifting a bait off. Oh, 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 he lands it right on the top of his head and neck. And the oh. way that's it. Osprey has pinned Bane again. Bane might have been knocked out there, falling onto his head. And Osprey celebrating himself for it. You, you might be right there. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was a freak accident thanks to Mil Muertes. Wait a minute, oh, Osprey oh. off cutter. And now he might be able to finish it off. Osprey always knows how to turn negatives into positive. Oh! oh Flatliner has to count it to the Oscutter! Mil Muertes had it scouted! Always one step ahead, but here comes Brock! Looking to finish the score with Mil Muertes! Oh! The sickening thud of Mil Muertes back onto the ground there! And now Brock looking to German suplex Mil. Return the favor for last time! Oh! to the pod door. It didn't quite break to the dismay of Brock Lesnar. Well, you know what Brock does. He just keeps on trucking here. And now the other side fight. Mil Muertes is able to get that elbow to the face of Brock to try and get some distance away. And now Brock, oh, what is that? Oh! Big boot by Mil Muertes knocks down Brock Lesnar. And now Mil Muertes has his sight set on that, on that hook. But it's attached to something. It's assistance for our cameraman, but can't quite yank it out. Oh! oh. Huge clumping blow. Oh, no, oh, no! Mil Muertes still found a way to use that hook to his own advantage, piercing the skin and flesh of the beast. Even beasts need blood to survive. Oh! Brock Lesnar evading? Trying to escape the grasp of death? Yeah, I mean... That's something you don't see every day, but Mil Muertes is still on the hunt. And now looking for a flat liner no. from the top. That will surely be oh. Brock, but now Brock has the Kamora lock onto death itself. And now Mil Muertes looking the strength of him, lifting him up. Oh, oh my God, he transitions. No, no freaking way. No. no fucking way. Mark oh. Oh. No. But no, so Lesnar. Mark from the top of white. Oh, he got the shoulder up. Mil Muertes is still on the back. That was almost a lucky accident for Lesnar right there. Hoarded my leg was when you be cursing like a sailor too. If you were front row and center to see this absolute banger of an elimination chamber match. Yeah, this was insane. Just, let's take another look. And oh, oh my God. Mil Muertes is certainly holding absolutely nothing back, but Will Osprey is now back up to his feet. Mil Muertes is poised. Oh! Didn't break, but duck. But now Osprey finds himself in position. Oscutter! Oh, German oh. suplex! What? Oh. Oh. The champion oh. oh. has been oh. eliminated! There wasn't well, three, was I kicked out! You didn't bro. kick out, you lost! And he makes it the fluke and lost. I mean, I mean I'm not sure! Talk, talk, Osprey talk, seems talk, ready to go here! What are you gonna do? What? Oh, wait, what the hell? He just tried to strike stage for here, but see the creation of destruction! What comes around comes around, Will! You are right! All that shit talking he did so long ago has finally come around to bite him up the ass! Yeah, but we gotta focus now on the final two. Yeah, you're right. Let's get back to reality. The reality being that the only two surviving members of each company are Mil Muertes and Brock Lesnar. These two fighting was our first glimpse of this match yet to come. And now, it all comes down to these two. Who's gonna fall first?
Both of these men, if you can even call them men, trading blow oh, yeah. after blow. And look how spent they are. Look how exhausted they are. They can't even lift each other at this point. And their backs hurt from falling all the way. Oh, despair! Reaper's tried it to the beast! Brock is hurt. Yeah. Brock is hurt. Mil Huertas has had his number ever since this war began. You might just what? What, what the hell? What is that? Vince McMahon is up to some shady shit. Yeah, he he's is. He's got a knife and he's handing it to Brock Lesnar. Look. Wait a minute. Oh, I knew I was the only one who saw that. Payback for when Vince McMahon hit Wildcard with that microphone. And uh, Big Boss Man and Stone Cold just letting it slide. Oh no. Where no, 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 no. Let that side oh. Whoa, watch out, Nate. Flatliner here. Oh. oh. But he slices the flesh off the back of Bill Huertas. Does Brock Lesnar. And now Brock has Bill up. No. F5. F5. The Rebellion has what? it all. How the? Bill Huertas is still alive. I've been there to see the carnage that this man laid in its wake. And I know for sure that you just cannot kill what's already dead. But Brock Lesnar sure gonna try. Wayne Mill able to counter. Oh, up the ropes again, back into the F5 position. Brock trying desperately to put this one. What? Oh! Flatliner, what a counter. And again, my God, it broke his damn neck. And I think that way you win. My God, what a shocker. Wild cards ace in the hole and Bill Huertas proved to be a hand that not even a beast could beat. What an insane ending. Wild Card said that Vince McMahon did not respect his company. But look at everyone up on their feet. Paying their respects to Wild Card, his genius, and his men who fought in this war. Mil Huertas is no doubt a force to be reckoned with. Joker John Moxley did tell you he would bring you the stage creator. His unmatched negotiation skills was more than enough to bring him through the no-no portal. Just to meet you, Sock. Only you. Uh, uh, Joker John Moxley is the best. I can't wait anymore. Let's go find him. Yes, let's. The following contest is a fatal four-way match from the GCW. Changing night here at Elimination Chamber so far, but we're just getting started. And with popular demand, it's now time to see the cruiserweights fly. Yeah, and for the first time ever, we see Darby Allen in the cruiserweight division. Yeah, and speaking of life changing, look at Sting. He changed his entire style. It seems as though that match he had with the Judgment Day made him have a new outlook on life. <laughs> One half of the drum One half of arguably the greatest tag team to ever grace the earth. And probably not so arguably, the greatest tag team champ that ever graced the ring here in GCW. Yeah, but we haven't seen them since GCW WrestleMania 10 and how Nick Jackson tries his luck in singles action. it in New Japan as of late. Yeah, I keep up with my history here. Yeah, last we've seen him was 
at the lockdown in GCW, but we've seen him in FAW as well. Yeah, he has not had the best of luck when it comes to championship matches, but tonight might be the night where that changes. about not seeing Rey Mysterio, I think this man, with his accolades, has earned a long hiatus, if you ask me. Yeah, I agreed after that ladder match against Liger, retaining. With that special match at FAW, Jushin Liger's League of Ligers has been out of here. We have not seen them since, and for good reason, too. Honestly, I've had about a, enough of seeing so many different colors of Christian Liger's suit. I'm happy. I mean, we've seen Liger at the Royal Rumble, but I guess you want to ignore that, and that's fine, man. Well, with that, it is now time for the Cruiserweights to show what they're made of here for the, all the gold here, or silver if you really want to be technical here. Rey Mysterio, Nick Jackson, Darby Allen and Kushida are all gonna go guns blazing here. It's all or nothing, as every single one of these guys are going, oh! Missed the kick there to Rey Mysterio. Kushida now has him. Kushida oh. just tosses Rey Mysterio into that Hurricane Rana onto Nick Jackson. Oh! Oh, oh! Hey, Darby! Oh, that Kushida was just close. barely able to kick out. Ducks the kick. Darby looking for that stunt dog millionaire. But Kushida able to think two steps ahead here. Oh! So does Darby Allen. I can't even call this match. It's just lightning fast, quick action here. As you would expect from the cruiserweights. Ah! No. Nick Jackson thought he was going to do something there, but Kushida yeah. shut that down. And Nick Jackson just sent Kushida tumbling to the outside. And there goes Rey Mysterio with the seat at Senton. He turns his focus oh. on Darby Allen, but Nick Jackson gets revenge. This is too quick to call. Just too quick to call. Whoa. Oh, what a moonsault there by Nick Jackson to Kushida onto the outside. And Darby, watch Darby, oh. oh, like a speeding bullet just takes down Nick. Yeah, Nick goes flying. Look at that. My God. Sting looks hella pleased here, right in front of us. Yeah. Now Darby looking to hit something else, but wait a minute, Rey Mysterio from the top. Oh, oh so on to Darby. Oh. oh, and a super kick to the mush. And Rey Mysterio is down. Is he out though? Doesn't matter because Kushida oh, with that handspring back elbow to Nick Jackson. And now Kushida is king of the hill. Yeah, nicely done there by Kushida. Now thinking back to the future, maybe. Yeah, that could be dangerous for Nick. Wait, he escapes. Oh, what a back elbow to the jaw. He damn near elbowed the flavor saver off of his chin there. <laughs> well, now, whoa. Oh, a reversal. Oh, tries to go for that super kick. Oh, oh that DDT spikes. Kushida on his noggin there. But Nick Jackson, in a match like this, you have to have eyes on the back of your head. Yeah, indeed. And each of these members of this match, they move like the damn Flash. A minute, Rey Mysterio. Oh! oh! Talk about innovative defense from Darby Allen. Yeah, that was really nicely scouted by Darby. Darby Allen using his whole body as a weapon to take down Kushida. And the same goes for Nick Jackson. My goodness. Darby Allen is on a mission here. That's what he does best. The champ's down. He's in trouble. What's Darby thinking in that sick, twisted mind of his? Oh! Rey Mysterio. He might have just been playing possum there. Luring Darby Allen into a false sense of security. Oh no! Oh! Look at this! Darby Allen could steal the win! But oh, oh. He transitions into that. Oh my god, I can't even. He's moved so quick, it's hard to figure out what he just did. That's how fast Darby Allen is. Oh! Wow! He tried to go for that dive, but Kushida with the arm bar! The arm bar locked onto Darby Allen! 
But even if he taps, it doesn't matter. If you ask me, this is a stupid move by Kushida. With all respect to him. Oh. Oh. Jackson with a double footstep to the face of Kushida. And now Nick Jackson super kicks the bad leg of Rey Mysterio. That does not bode well, oh. as Nick Jackson is just going to town. Now has to follow up immediately. What is he going for? Oh! oh. Rey Mysterio has Nick Jackson right where he wants him, but can he run on that bad leg? Oh, oh no! What an insecurity to the face of the champion! And now Darby Allen's back to his feet. Kushida stirring as well. And now Nick Jackson. Oh! oh. But oh! But wait, Kushida! Oh my great god! Stir onto the floor! That's what Nick Jackson gets for being so overzealous. Back to the future of Rey Mysterio. Oh, I no, thought that was I it. We had a new champion there. That was so close. And now Kushida, of course, has to follow up here. Rey Mysterio's in the fight of his life, and he's fighting desperately to keep his championship on the arm bar. Arm bar to Mysterio now. First the leg, and now it could be the arm! Yeah, now in the ring, that could be it for Kushida to win the Cruiserweight Championship right here, right now. Rey Mysterio tapping out is unheard of, but there's Darby from the top! Able to save the match for Mysterio and himself! Kushida's out of here. Rey Mysterio and Darby are the only ones standing. Dog millionaire to the champion. He just jumped over him. Is this finally the moment for Darby Allen's retribution? That could be it. Coffin drop incoming. Great neck. Super kicks Darby all the way down to the floor. And now Nick might be the one to take the championship from Mysterio. Oh, oh. No, Mysterio got the knees up. But Rey Mysterio still has that bad leg. He's still got that bum leg here. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know how much damage he's done to himself, but it seems like he's done just enough to Nick Jackson to go and dial it up. Booyaka, what? Booyaka. Oh. What? Hey, with the baseball bat. No. No, no way. Mysterio's in trouble. Darby he taps. He's the leg, and that's it. Mysterio taps out. to Sting and his trusty bat, Darby Allen has captured gold once again here in GCW. Yeah, it seems it's not just a new look for Sting, but a new attitude as well. And one can only wonder where this new attitude is going to take Sting and Darby Allen collectively. Hope there's no need for that, Mr. Trademark. I've only come for a dialogue with you. Also, please excuse me if I sound a bit woozy. I'm still feeling the effects of my premature elimination. Please, stand down. I'm not here to harm you. In fact, I don't even blame you for your actions at the Royal Rumble. Because it's clear to me that Mr. Rollins has quite the death grip on your free will. I've bared witness to the John trademark of old. We were even competing on the same show together once upon a time. But now, I have to admit, seeing you in this lesser state relegated to nothing more than a sidekick it even hurts a cold-hearted man like me it's not exactly hopeless john despite how desperately rollins tries to keep it hidden i know your true self and maybe all that's needed 
to bring the John trademark of old back to the light is one special match. With me. I cannot stand to see you beaten to the ground any longer. Allow me to open your eyes and show everyone, including Rollins, what John Trademark is truly capable of. I think you know where to find me. You visited my workplace before, after all. Good night, John. I will be waiting in FAW. Excited to see who it is. Who's it gonna be, Luke? Who's it gonna be? I'm clueless, man. Oh! Oh my god! Could be big trouble for Jeff Hardy in this match. He definitely gotta go extreme with these two. Rumors have been circulating all around the globe that these two were gonna eventually make their debuts here in GCW, and now that it's come true, oh, 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 I cannot wait to see what carnage lies in wait for us tonight. Bell is wrong at all! Jay Briscoe already taking the fight to Jeff! Yeah, immediately. Hardy's down, he's bamboozled, and so is everyone here in attendance. Look at the face of Edge. That is concerned if I ever seen it, but look at this. Already going to the trusty, dirty tactics is Hardy. Yeah, as always. Just waiting for that low blow. And oh, what a boot there by Jay once again. Oh! Whoa. That kitchen sink reversal from Jeff Hardy lays the waste to Jay Briscoe already, and Jay is forced to retreat to the outside. Wait a minute, Hardy trying oh. to go for some big maneuver, and he paid dearly for it. What a suplex, and now Edge pays the price Look. as well. He can oh. get two, and so can Evil. Mark Briscoe with the save there, kicking Evil straight into the face. Wait a minute, Hardy. Bit of a sling blade action there. Oh. But Mark coming to his brother's aid just as quickly as it happened. And now Mark going after Jeff. But Edge hit that big boot of his own, laying waste to Mark Briscoe onto the floor. And now Edge trying to take the fight back inside the ring. Tag made to Edge. Wait a minute, he gets the chop though. Ducks the punch. Oh, neck breaker by the rated R superstar. Nicely done by Edge. Now what is he looking for, Lariat? But Briscoe ducks. Oh, trying to go for that flapjack, but Jay saw it coming. Oh, and he saw Jeff coming there as well. Oh, no! Edge O'Matic from behind, thanks to the distraction from one half of the GCW Tag Champs. Yes, what the Judgment Day is so good at. 
crowd here trying to rile Jay Briscoe to victory. Even a fireman's carry. Edge is in trouble there, but Jeff Hardy already on the offensive. Oh, power bomb. There's Mark. Slips in. What the hell? Oh my god, Mark Briscoe able to land on his feet, but off for long with that thrust kick by Jay Briscoe onto Jeff. Oh! And he takes off the head of Edge. And he landed he just right on his it. Ass. And now he's looking for the Jay Driller. If he hits this, we're no doubt going to see new tag champs. Oh! But Edge wisely using his own strength to the advantage, desperately pushing Jay Briscoe into the ref. Oh, no. Cue. Come on. Evil with the blunt end of that scythe was able to give Judgment Day a slight advantage there, but Mark Briscoe came to help once again. That's a ride or die brother right there. What's he thinking? I think Froggy oh bowed to the outside. No! Oh, oh my God! Twist of fate counter. I don't even think he had the twist there. It was just a regular old cutter, but just as effective. And now look at the position that Edge finds himself in. Jay Briscoe's in trouble. Spear weight oh. gets caught into the fireman's carry. The Death Valley driver. Oh! And I thought it spelled death for the Judgment Day's title reign. Yeah, me too. Oh, takes out Jeff Hardy to the outside. And now Edge. Edge is in trouble. He's in there with a beast and Jay Briscoe. But now Edge has Briscoe in his sights. Looking for the execution. My God. Just drilled him into the mat. But Jay Briscoe still kicks out. Yeah, he just drilled him onto the head. I'm amazed that Jay was able to kick out of this at all. So far, this match has been back and forth. I'm not sure who's going to come out on top. You know how much I hate Jeff Hardy in the Judgment Day by association, and I really wish the Briscoes would take them down, but their teamwork is impeccable. Oh, another Impaler DDT, perhaps by Edge, but counter nicely done by Jay. Northern Lights suplex their innovative offense, or should I say defense, in the position of Jay Briscoe at the moment. Mark Briscoe trying to get into position for a tag uh. to help his brother, but Jay Briscoe has his hands full, and so does Mark now. Got a face full of foot there by Jeff Hardy. And now so far, the Judgment Day have the Briscoes right where they want them. Oh, oh my God! Driver over the top rope to the outside. Hardy damn sure felt that. That might give him the time to make the tag to Mark. Jay, Mark, could we be seeing them as the oh, new GCW Tag Champs? Not if Edge had anything to say about it there from behind. And now Earl Hebner giving him a good mouthful there. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Evil just washed his foot with the face and beard of Jay Briscoe. Right under the referee's nose, I, I might add. Wait a minute, now Hardy. Oh no. This is it. Yep, yeah, wait a minute. Jay able to counter, but look at this. Hello. Hardy has him with the reverse. Oh my God, where did Mark come from? What a suplex by Mark Briscoe. And now Mark's on fire. Look at this shit. Oh, oh my God. Mark Briscoe cannot be stopped. Oh, into the steps. I'm gonna Jay from behind. Just like that. He's got Hardy. There it the is. Oh no. But look at the no. Oh no. Jeff Hardy rolled out of the ring. Just before the Briscoes could get the pin. If he hadn't done that. I guarantee you that the Briscoes would have been the new champs, but they're not taking any chances here. Looking for yet another Doomsday device on the outside. This is surely death incarnate. But Hardy able to fight back now. What? Edge has Jay Briscoe in a similar predicament. What the hell? Oh my God! Oh no! Doomsday device, Judgment Day style to Jay Briscoe. 
Even Edge can't believe that shit. Yeah. Wait a minute, here comes more. Oh. Buster from the apron onto the floor. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Oh no. I go back to my statement before. Yeah. Oh. Hardy does not want that extreme lifestyle. Mark Briscoe saying he likes that a hell of a lot, and so do I. Give me some more, boy. Yeah, he got to get his brother up so they can continue the attack on Judgment Day here. One brother trying to resuscitate the other. But how much time do they have before the Judgment Day recovers? Evil tending to Jeff Hardy. And now Mark and Jay will get to hit a Doomsday device onto Edge. If they hit this, it's got to be over. Yeah. It has to be. Mark Briscoe's in position. But wait a minute, here comes Jeff. Oh, oh no. Foiling the plans on the Briscoe. And now White Whisper the win in a reverse runner by Edge. I can't oh, oh. see the oh, Wait a minute, Mark Briscoe with the elbow drop onto both men. This guy's insane. And now he has Jeff Hardy. Razor's Edge position. Jay Briscoe's up! Oh. It's a neck breaker! New champs! New champs! This is it! No! Edge using his own strength! Desperately tackling Mark Briscoe! Oh. My goodness gracious! I think Jay Briscoe clotheslined him so hard that he tuckered himself out! Yeah! And now Mark has Hardy where he wants him! Wait a minute! Oh! Mark Briscoe able to stop his ball. Oh, no, there no. it is. They're so goddamn reliable. Might as well just call it that. Twist of hate. Not like this. Come on, don't tell me this is it. No, no, come on now. I can't bear to see this again. Uh, there's what? The Jay Driller. Maybe he hits another one, but there's evil. God damn it, get away. Yes. Yes. Jay Driller! No! Edge with the spear! Edge with the spear! And just because of that, they retain! You are no worse! Edge still! Come on, man! The Briscoes were this close to giving us all what we wanted to see Judgment Day! Bearing six feet under. Yeah, it was so close. Hardy's always finding a way to weasel his way out of defeat. And Edge cannot be any prouder. Every single one of the members of this faction are just completely despicable. I spit on their general direction. What? The chamber's being lowered. Let's go. Oh, I'm right behind you, Luke. Don't worry. I'm coming. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is it, Joker John Moxley. He's in here. Joker John Moxley. He's, he's in here. He's here. He's here. Ah, heard of an ad nest. Go ahead, sir. Oh, no. Please, your destiny. Oh, no. I don't agree, you boy. Myself? This oh, is your moment, my oh, dear friend. Now go and grab it. Okay. <laughs> fuck! Oh my god, what the what the fuck is that thing? Get to fear! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! 
sounds like the little scamp is having the time of his life in there. Perhaps he's having his own little deadly games match. Eh, you come out soon. Well, people, this is it. It's time to find out what exactly will be the WrestleMania main event this year. Here comes the piece of garbage who was the sole reason why this match had to be made. Roman Reigns just couldn't stand the idea of my cousin taking his spotlight at the Royal Rumble, so he had to go and break his arm with a steel chair. And now he's here to try and claim the WrestleMania Reign event. You know, excuse me for speaking over the announcer, Johnny Biggs, there, but honestly, I don't want to give Roman Reigns the satisfaction of, 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 of having the spotlight onto him. Jeez, I can't even look at him after what he did to my cousin. Yeah, really despicable actions by Roman. I'm not even sure if he should have been given a qualifier for this chamber match, but Roman is a big star, and he was, and he defeated Rollins and Strowman to enter. The only reason why Roman Reigns was so successful in the first place as extreme champion was because of his bloodline. He never did all that himself. And now I'd like to see him try to get out of this chamber in one piece by himself with no bloodline in his corner. I mean, that's a very interesting point you made there because no bloodline is going to be able to enter the chamber here tonight. The franchise himself has arrived here at the Elimination Chamber. He was this close to winning it all at the G1 until a certain Bane had something to say. But now he's got one more chance after he defeated both Jay White and Darby Allin to earn a spot in this Elimination Chamber. And quite frankly, I think we got robbed. You know, looking back at it now, John Cena versus Will Ospreay, that'll be one hell of a matchup. I agree with you there. Uh, we were closer again to this match at the Royal Rumble. Cena doing pretty well until Moxley and Danielson decided to just beat the living hell out of John Cena. <laughs> leaving him all bloody, ready to be eliminated. Both Brian and Mox showed a brand new attitude at the Royal Rumble. And because of Seth Rollins, Interfering with JTM Spotlight, Brian Danielson found himself in this chamber along with his Blackpool Combat Club brethren, John Moxley. And trust me, I think we're going to see a lot of bloodshed here in this match with these two in the fray. Yeah, and they are the only team to enter this chamber, so that could be interesting as well. Ladies, ladies. Right-hand man to the real-world champ, Will Ospreay. Gunther had some legit beef with Brock Lesnar, and because of him, he stole the win against Bobby Lashley and earned his spot here at the Elimination Chamber. But I gotta ask, what's gonna happen if Gunther actually wins the whole thing in main events WrestleMania 
with Will Ospreay. I mean, we would probably get a seven-star classic with that, but the dynamics in the United Empire surely would be interesting with that one. Yeah, but now we're waiting for that last mystery entrant. They said he was a former GCW champion, but who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh! Oh my God! If it ain't the Golden Star, Kota Ibushi making his triumphant return to GCW! Wow, how big is that for Ibushi to return? Yeah, it was an absolute brutal showing by Gunther. His first match back one-on-one -on -one with Kota Ibushi. And he just he just demolished him the entire time. Kota Ibushi got some few good licks in, but at the end, Gunther was the one who took out Kota by breaking his arm with that Kimura lock. Reminiscent to the Kimura lock that broke his arm. By Brock Lesnar. Yeah, let's not forget that Gunther's the reason that Osprey won that championship from Ibushi at Mania last oh, year. Oh! Well, look at Kota Ibushi wasting no time going after the man who put him out for so long! And it seems to me like that arm is just as good as new! Kota Ibushi trash talking to Gunther, but he ducks and oh. he just lays waste to the spine of Kota Ibushi no. with that chop! Goes for the clothesline, yeah. but Ibushi oh. turns that suplex onto the ground! And you gotta wonder what that would mean to Ibushi to come back one year later and take that championship back from Osprey at WrestleMania. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Kota Ibushi is back with a vengeance towards Gunther. Feels like Brock Lesnar isn't the only person Gunther has to worry about. Oh, oh my God! In midair, the chop heard around the world, especially ringing through Kota Ibushi's ears and his ribcage. Yeah, indeed. It's now Gunther's falling up with the Larry. Ibushi blocks, now Gunther blocks. German suplex. Oh! Back and forth, these oh. guys are going! And Kota Ibushi once again gets the advantage! That was beautifully countered by Kota Ibushi. So athletic he is. And now what is he thinking? Gunther in position for something. Ibushi, oh! oh! Look at this! Look at the strength of Ibushi! He's been working out all right since the last time we saw him! Oh my god! Snake eyes onto the chains of the chamber! Could have been that he's been working out or Gunther having lost a lot of weight because he looks tremendous here tonight as well. Well, as you can see, it drew blood from the ring general. And now, what's a general to a oh. star? But look at this! Gunther able to counter Last Symphony! Could this be it for Kota Ibushi? Just as quickly as he came, he gets out now! The shoulder goes up, and we still have ourselves a match! Yes, yeah, how fast things can change in the chamber. What a counter by Gunther. He's now looking to follow up with the powerbomb. Ibushi able to escape. Oh, huge bomb strike to the jaw of Gunther! Nicely done by Ibushi. Perhaps thinking to go for another one, Doc. Oh, oh God damn! Did you hear the sound of the sickening thud of the boot going across the face of Ibushi? Now he looks for another one. Wait, Ibushi. Oh. He came to the top of the head of Gunther. Gunther goes tumbling to the outside, out of the ring, and now Ibushi sees his chance to lay out no. more punishment to Gunther. But now what's this? Oh, he's got him hung up on the chains there of the chamber. The chamber wall is a dangerous place to be in, and that is proven by the fact that Gunther is just laying waste to the chest of Kota Ibushi with the symphony of those sickening chops. Yeah, my God. Absolutely destroying the chest of Ibushi. Oh, God. Come on now, this is a bit too much. Even for Gunther's sake. I have no doubt Will Ospreay is watching backstage with a huge smile on his face. We know how much he hates Kota Ibushi. Yeah, I mean, Ospreay in the end was the one that ordered Gunther to break the arm of Ibushi. And now the American Dragon comes out of the cave, goes straight after Gunther, and now, as soon as I thought Kota Ibushi would catch a break, here comes Daniel 
O'Brien with those oh. stiff kicks. One for Gunther as well, for good measure. Yeah, to the head there of Gunther. As he is stunned, and Danielson goes to the top rope. And now Brian from the top missile drop kick. Timber goes Gunther, and now Brian. He's feeling it. He's feeling the fire within his heart. But wait, Gunther, look at the snuff out the flames. Sleeper suplex and coming with Brian lands on his feet, reminiscent to Tota Bushi as he lands that leaping clothesline to the ring general. Yeah, nicely done there by Danielson as well as Gunther retreats to the outside. But oh, chop. Oh, oh God, it seems like no matter how much punishment you lay on to Gunther, he always oh. comes back. But he landed badly there on his back. On the outside. Brian with a drop kick to the face of Gunther, right in front of Roman Reigns' pod. Now he's not done. One more. Do I see a three-peat, people? From Hello. Brian Danielson. Wait a minute. Double footstep from Abushi out of nowhere. What the hell? Where did he even come from? Great stuff there by Kota Ibushi as he's thinking. Last right, maybe. On to Danielson. Some bad blood with Abushi and Gunther here. And now Brian. Oh, I thought he was going to get caught in the crossroads there. I thought Abushi was going to powerbomb Gunther on top of Brian. Thank goodness for Brian that he stopped that. Oh, oh God. Neck first onto the ground, but Abushi stays in the fight. Look at Gunther. Oh. oh, my goodness. He just flattened Brian. But even he still has fight left. I cannot imagine the turmoil any of these guys are going through within this oh. hellish chamber. Yeah, this is such a hard-hitting match here, my god. Oh, Ibushi not giving up quite yet. This is a different version of Ibushi since the last time Gunther fought him. Kick oh. oh, my goodness, just threw Gunther inside. Oh, oh that's a drop kick from Gunther, and then Ibushi what? back up. Ibushi's back up. Wow! And now Danielson waiting for Ibushi to get back up. Now Brian turning his attention to Ibushi. Oh. Oh. I was gonna say this would be a match I'd love to see one on one, but Ibushi might just be showing that he is the superior combatant in this chamber. But look at this. Brian has Calvary in the form of the innovator of unscripted violence, John Moxley. A oh, stiff elbow to the jaw of Ibushi. And now Moxley just bringing the brutality to the Golden Star. Oh. Nice lariat by Moxley. Oh, now the elbow already. Oh, mercy. With John Moxley, enough's never enough. He lives for this. He lives for to punish others. He lives to get punished in the ring. He's one sick son of a bitch. But Brian's not too far behind. And now Mox has him up. Oh. Slam, slam to Ibushi. Yeah, face first into the mat goes Ibushi. As now they turn their attention towards Gunther and the forearm and the elbow. Oh, God. And now Moxley just battering the skull of Gunther onto the pod there in front of Roman Reigns. And now Moxley's looking to put the cherry on top of the power driver, but Gunther escapes. And there's Brian, just like that. When Gunther thought he had a breath of fresh air, there goes the dragon to snuff it out. Yeah, and that's why it's so dangerous having the team of Danielson and Moxley in this chamber. No, oh, but still! Gunther is a one-man army here against the Blackpool Combat Club. But even then, it's still that numbers game. And now Ibushi oh. from behind. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. What the hell is he thinking? No, there's no way he's going to do this. There's no way he's going to pull this off. Oh, oh my God. What? Oh, there's Brian. When I thought Ibushi had the time to shine, Brian was there to take it all away. And now... Here comes the paradigm shift of look at Gunther, able to escape. Oh my goodness, just turns Brian inside out. Moxley able to duck though, and now he's on the attack. But Gunther quickly sits him back down.
This has been a strong style clinic here, but we await the next entry in this chamber match. And here he and comes. And it looks like it's the piece of garbage himself, the tribal queen, Roman Reigns. But there's Brian, not wasting any time taking him out at all. Roman Reigns makes short work of him. Into the pot goes Moxley. I'm the only man here. Once again, Roman Reigns in classic fashion talking that bull crap. But now Gunther's looking to murder Ibushi. Ibushi trying to escape any way he knows how. Yeah, now Ibushi makes his way on top of the pot. But oh, Gunther following him up. Oh my god, and now Gunther laying the sick and blood. Strikes off the chest and Roman Reigns. But Brian wouldn't let him. And now Gunther. Oh my god, making sure that Ibushi looks him dead in the eyes. As he lays oh. down the punishment. But Ibushi had an answer. Now what's going to happen here? This is a very dangerous position as we see with Milwaukee's oh. and Brock Lesnar earlier this night. Both of these men not giving an inch. Both of these men not going to give up. And now Gunther. Oh, no. Is he just going to throw him off the pot? Oh no. Oh wait, Ibushi what? catches the top. Oh my god. Talk about turning a negative into a positive. Kota Ibushi is just thinking on his feet. That was amazingly countered by Ibushi. What a landing there by Ibushi as well. Very unorthodox, but it did the job all right. But here comes Roman Reigns, nearly decapitates the Golden Star. And now Roman finds himself in the match with one of the Blackpool Combat Club members and Daniel Bryan, but he gets the Samoan drop. Now Mox is back up, and there's no explanation needed. This is history in the making. Oh, look, Gunther from the top, oh. Lord have mercy! That was like a nuclear warhead going to yeah. town. And he follows up directly with the power bump. This is it for Moxley now. Danielson breaks it up. Now going for the German. But no! Oh. Brian! Gunther was just able to get out of the way. No! John Moxley saves his partner there from oblivion. To the dismay of Gunther as he knocks the hell out of Mox with that huge boot. And now Roman's next. But there's a Bushi with the high pump knee. Shades of his best friend, Teddy Omega. And there's the last ride to Gunther. Is this indeed the last ride? No. Gunther is still up. That shows a lot of how tough Gunther is here. Kicking out after all the punishment he has already taken in this match. But we are expecting the final member of this match to enter right now. The last man in this match is arguably the most star-studded. Here comes the face that runs the place, John Cena. Looking to become Super Cena tonight after outlasting oh. all of these men. Tries to go for that knee, does a boosty, but he gets the AA. Here comes Brian. Another one. We're witnessing an AA party. Forget a super kick party. Everyone gets an AA. But look, now here comes Box. Wait a minute. Putting a stop to it all. Oh. What a paradigm shift to Cena. Right onto the head. What? And what? Just like that, John Cena has been dealt with. One paradigm shift was all it took. After all the damage that Cena has done, but now Abushi from behind, looking to do the same thing to Roman that he did to Gunther, but Gunther, he saw it coming and he did not want to give Kota Abushi oh, the satisfaction. No, Superman punch counter. And then lands the spear into the cover. Gunther is out. Revenge from the Royal Rumble for Roman partly. Blackpool Combat Club. Trying to come up with a game plan here. How are they going to take out Roman Reigns and Kota Ibushi respectively? The box, you know, it went in doubt, just elbow it out. And now with that bulldog choke, and we're witnessing a mugging. Yeah, beat his ass. Beat his ass. 
Give him some more! Come on, man. What, can you blame me? Can you really blame me after what Roman Reigns has done? I mean, I can. But... Yeah, that's right. Finish him! Finish him! Oh, oh, come on, Dakota! Just stay back! Get your bearings back! Let him deal with Roman! I think Ibushi is scared of a two-on-one situation against the Blackpool Combat Northern Club. Northern Lights Super Star Ryan Bushi! Dakota Bushi transitions into the Common Foyer! What a counter by Ibushi! Oh. And Brian Danielson has been slain! And now there won't be a two-on-one uh, situation against the Blackpool Combat Club because Brian is eliminated. From behind, there's Mox trying to get rid of Kota Ibushi as, flat, as fast as possible. Oh. But Ibushi, what are you doing? Don't celebrate too early. Oh. It's a paradigm shift. That is it for Ibushi. Ibushi oh. still gets the shoulder up. He dropped him right on the top of his head, but Ibushi still kicked out. I just want to see somebody eliminate Roman already. Now Moxley, what is he thinking? I think he wants to follow up with another one, this time on the harder outside. This could be the end of Ibushi, but wait, he escapes once again. Oh my God. Ah. What agility there, what fast thinking by Ibushi, but Moxley is still on the hunt. No, oh my no, no, God, no, 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 no. no. Come on now, this will be too much. This will be straight up murder. This will be a straight up death. We will oh no! Here at Elevation Chamber, my God! But there! It's a spear from Roman! Wait, no! No, no, no! Mox is eliminated, and we're down to Roman and Ibushi! Come on, Coda! Come on, Coda! Coda Ibushi is so lucky that he was able to flip over. Moxley landing right on his tailbone and getting speared out of his boots immediately by Roman. He's still rattled from that pile driver attempt by John Moxley. Yeah. No, 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 wait! Oh! oh the knee! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Oh. Oh, no, Bushi with the cover go! Yes! Yes! yes. Go. go! He kicks out! Roman Reigns kicks out! Come on, Kota, don't stop! Keep going! Keep him down! Yeah, come on! Hit another one! Yes! One more time for the ages! Oh, oh. spear! Come on! That's right, roll out of the ring. I don't know if Roman Reigns got all of the spear. He usually has a running start. That's what gives him the momentum, the strength to put the opponent away. But he didn't have that there with that counter. I'll admit it was a great counter, but now Roman Reigns is looking to end things with Kota Ibushi. One more spear to close it off. Wait a minute. Oh, exploded oh, oh. through the pod door. My God. That was so so important for Ibushi to counter that second spear. Come on, Kota. Just drag him in the ring and pin him. That's all you have to do. Yeah, I think you're right. But oh, Ibushi. Wait a minute, where the hell is he going? What are you doing? Don't give him enough time. Phoenix. Oh, misses the Phoenix splash. Oh, the what? what the Lift heck? out. Oh, oh my God. Come on, Goye. He landed right on his feet. What? But he took some of that Spear as well as Ibushi is down as well. Kota Ibushi lands on his feet from the spear, took the entire weight of Roman Reigns. Oh no, guillotine. With the guillotine. Come on, don't tell me. Oh Kota no. Ibushi, fight out of it. Fight like your life depends on it because it does. He does. He rolled out. No. no. Justice in this world at all. Roman Reigns took the coward's way out and jumped my cousin right after the Royal Rumble, injured him so that he would not make it to WrestleMania, and now he is going to main event against Will Ospreay. Ah, you know what? I'm not even going to show up for WrestleMania. I mean, you you got a match too. Come on. Yeah, you're right. I lied. It's my job. I need the money, but still. I'm not going to enjoy watching this piece of shit walk that ramp and challenge Will Ospreay. I mean, I, I, I definitely understand you there, but it's Roman and Ospreay at WrestleMania.